What is going on, guys? Welcome to another podcast. This is the Amazon Seller Brand Stories. And guys, we have an, another amazing hair person with us and uh, his beautiful wife, Jonathan and Evita uh, Kunky, right? Yep. Did I mess right. up? Okay, perfect. Kunky yeah, like right. funky. They're, they're kind of like reminding me earlier. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where are, you guys, uh, where are you guys calling from today? So we're in Southern California. We're basically exactly the halfway point between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. So we're in what's called Ventura County, and we're like 45 minutes basically from either city. Yeah. Right down, right down the street from me. I'm I'm in uh, Irvine, California, or oh, yeah. I, I like to say I like to say Newport Beach, California. But Sean is always like, "No, you live in Irvine, buddy." I'm like, "All right." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've heard him say that on some of the uh, workshops and stuff. That's uh, you know. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's close, right? It's exactly. Close. Like yeah. everybody always says, we're in the valley, which it, the valley is close to us, but technically we're a separate county. But that's what we always say. Yeah, we're in Ventura, and they're like, oh, you're from the valley. Like, yeah. <laughs> ask him. Ask him. Uh, ask him where he's from, and he'll be lying about that too. He's a little okay. borderline. So. <laughs> we will try to pad the resume a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, guys, I want to um, thank you guys for, for coming on, on our podcast. I can't wait to get into this. I want to remind the viewers out there why we do this podcast. Um, we're just trying to share some spotlights. We know that every product and brand are created equal. We know people spend more time, um, especially with their products and their, their customer service, and, and give a little bit more spotlight to those individuals who are, who are paving the pathways of what true success uh, looks for others. So thank you so much uh, for coming and joining. Uh, you guys both look amazing. I love your guys' smile and energy already. <laughs> um, the first thing we got to get into is, what the heck is Honeydew? What's Honeydew Sleep Company? And tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think I would start by saying we're the best pillow company in the world. I and love we it make already. The best pillow in the world. Yeah. That I is so, that's our mission, basically, in a nutshell. Is we've like we started this company after we had been making pillows basically for ourselves because what we made didn't exist on the market and we we started making them in like small amounts and giving them to people and then the reception was just like unbelievable. We'd get emails and stuff from people that we'd never met saying, how do I get my hands on one of your scrumptious pillows? And, you know, we um, basically from there, it just kind of took on a little bit of a cult following. And we had people emailing us like every week, we still do saying like, "Our your pillow changed my life, you know, and when we're getting stuff like that, we're like, we need to figure out how to make these more available. We need to get them into like more people's hands because people are really benefiting from it. So then we, yeah, yeah, you know, our focus has always been customer service. That's where we kind of are fulfilled is when we are able to make customers happy, make a difference for them. Um, that's always been our passion. And nice. seeing the response we got from these pillows and people all over the world sending us their stories and telling us how much it reduced their pain and how much better they were sleeping and how much better their days were after having a good night's rest, which is rare these days and hard to get yeah. all the factors around us stress comfort you know so if we could make a little bit of a difference in somebody's quality of life that's how this took off for us because yeah. it was so fulfilling and made us so happy that we had to keep going down that route yeah exactly yeah. I, I I know especially in today's world I mean a lot of stress and, and um, overeating or anything like that uh, like health in general plays a big part with your sleeping and your sleeping schedule, right? And definitely does, yeah. Especially in, in the US, we're kind of like always on the go. We're always in this work mode. We always like, oh no, hustle, hustle, hustle. But in reality, when you get a good night rest, a good night sleep, good good seven, eight hours, and then add your guys' product to it, then it's like the perfect cherry on top, right? So do you guys just focus on 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 pillows or what's the whole line right here that you guys have with Honeydew? So we do multiple products, but really quick, just to kind of touch on what you said, like what the reason people tell us that our pillows change their lives is because I think a lot of people don't realize how like important a quality pillow is to yeah. your night's rest. And if you never have that, like there's no way for you to know that because you've never experienced it. So like with our pillows, people are waking up pain free, you know, for the first time ever, they've been plagued with neck pain or shoulder pain. And then you also wake up and you've got so much more energy because your sleep is more productive. So you're ready to like do those things and tackle your day. And 
get the most out of life that you can basically which is really i think you know what makes a big difference and the yeah. the thing is about us is we you know this is a luxury product it's a luxury pillow but it's actually really a wellness product at its core because yeah. it, it affects your health it affects your quality of sleep your quality of life and really it makes a huge difference in how you function because if you're waking up rested and with no pain then your possibilities are endless if you're yeah. waking up and you're not feeling good and you're not feeling rested it's really hard to follow your passions and yeah. you know live vibrantly when you don't have the energy for it so yeah. that's i think the key to it is it's not just you know a part of your sleep routine it's something that affects your life all around definitely yeah yeah it's 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 more of like an investment for your well-being right like absolutely like yes. That. Yes. exactly yeah yeah when, when people start to 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 think of investments through their life like what am i doing right here that's going to benefit me in my life whether it's or whether it's fitness working out sleeping all those things exactly. come right. into account yeah. right and so that that hypes me up because I like I'm I, I love health and fitness. I'm 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 an advocate of that. I I try to push that so much when when the pandemic was here. I was like, okay, oh, yeah. let's, let's go yeah. back to the basics, right? Let's Definitely. go back to getting outside, being healthy, getting good uh good night's sleep, uh, making sure that you're not stressed through those areas, and then we'll focus on other things, right? Whether it's vitamins or other stuff like that. But focus on the basics right here, which is if you guys look at the studies, and I'm sure you have, we yeah. are following. Yeah. In, yeah. into a really bad sleep cycle of like less hours every single day. And it's kind of getting scary because I was looking at some studies of how like doctors can be impacted from just four hours in sleep compared to seven to eight hours. And I'm like, well, if I had surgery, I would want my doctor to have a full seven hours of sleep, especially with a good, yeah. a good product that, that they're using, right? If they, if they wake up amazing and feeling great, hey, my surgery is probably going to be a little bit better that day, right? I have better chances. It it definitely is. Like the the lack of sleep really increases your risk of heart disease, and like type two diabetes, obesity, all types of physical conditions, and like and not to mention your beauty, mental health, and beauty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that's beauty really sleep? important. Yep. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's really important for for every aspect of of your life. So yeah. we're trying to kind of like also reach our customers and show them the importance of that because yeah. I think that sometimes that goes to the wayside because there's so much stress and work and screen time yeah. and we try to focus on eating right and exercising and there yeah. are all of these go 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 options and we forget about the resting and how important that is to fuel our bodies yeah, yeah. I, I before we we actually started doing this I went to film school and I remember like our first day of film school one of the things that they like made everybody come in and watch this video. And because you work 14 hour days, 16 hour days, even longer a lot of times trying to get the shot, the video said, so, I don't remember the exact number of hours, but it was basically something to the effect of if you miss one night of sleep, your coordination, um, your decision-making, like all of your fine motor skills are impacted greater than if you were over 0.08, like blood alcohol content, just from like one night. It makes that big of a difference in our lives. And, the reason wow. they were telling people that is because people get in really bad car accidents because yeah. they haven't slept and they're, you know, they don't realize that they're as impaired as they are. So, yeah. Wow. And that that's kind of going, going into my next question. I don't, I don't know if you guys were born with the passion of, of, of sleeping uh, products at first, but how did you guys get into this? Were you guys always like entrepreneur state mind? How did you guys kind of get into the Amazon and how did you guys kind of get into your, your, your entrepreneurship journey right now? Right? Because it's not, not like a lot of careers out there, right? It's not at all like a lot of careers. And to be honest, we are we are not born entrepreneurs. Like, we aren't really. By nature, that is not us. We're like having to learn basically how to run a business and all of that stuff now. But the way we got into sleep is like that came naturally to us. Um, well, I, I'll start by saying yeah. we're both terrible sleepers. Always. <laughs> yeah. Our entire lives we've both been terrible sleepers. We've always struggled yes. with sleep. Yeah. And, uh, and 
the problem with that is that not only you're struggling with sleep, but when you can't sleep, there's an anxiety that happens when you wake up in the middle of the night yeah. and then you can't get comfortable. And because you can't get comfortable, you can't get back to sleep. And so we realized that the comfort element was a huge factor in being able to stay asleep and to be able to fall back asleep if you are woken up. Yeah, I was raised in in like a, the environment where my father, when I was four years old, founded like brick and mortar sleep stores. So they're basically primarily mattress stores, but they sell um, a variety of other sleep related products and products to improve sleep. And mm -hmm. it's a big focus on the science of sleep and alignment. We have these like machines that will measure your body and they do like over a thousand calculations and they'll say like this mattress is going to support you better than that mattress. And so I grew up there. I mean, when I was a kid, he would have the uh, like the big sales over Labor Day or Memorial Day. And yeah. I would be there with the little one of those little old fashioned hot dog roller machines, like handing out yeah. hot dogs to the customers and stuff. And um, <laughs> I would just, you know, spend a lot of time there because he was a, he was a he's an entrepreneur and he's a small businessman. And so as a kid, that was kind of, you know, one of our areas we spent a lot of time. And then after college, I went to work for him. and then. I just like, I, I've always kind of been passionate about it because it's always been so elusive for me. And mm. I got really like I, so much satisfaction out of being able to help people find a mattress or a sleep prod pillow, anything that's gonna really improve the quality of their sleep just made yeah. me feel so good because I was like, I know how to do that. I know what's important. I know what you need. And so, you know, even though, I'm a bad sleeper. Like I, I know essentially what works for the majority of people, and and my sleep has improved a lot as a result of that. So that was almost 20 years ago that I went to work for him. And when I now, came so. along, um, and Jonathan and I started seeing each other, I totally understood this like passion about <laughs> yeah. these sleep products because yeah. I had previously had a major back problem, and I had a doctor recommend a specific bed for me, and my parents invested in it for me, and it I went from being on pain medication every day from it to being able to function fully and normally pain free. So I had already seen how much a, a sleep product can alter your life, can can fully change how you're right. living. Yeah. 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 She couldn't drive her in. It was like totally debilitating. Yeah. And this was all before we met. So then she had had this mattress change her life. And naturally she was passionate about like anybody who would listen, like because when something has such a profound impact on your life, you want to like share it with others if you can. And so then when we got together, we always were just kind of like, oh, it was meant to be, you know, because <laughs> here we are and we both have this like passion for that. So no, yeah. I, I totally, I totally agree. And I I personally think that's where the best products are made because you're going through your own personal problem. You know what's gonna be working for you, and you know with all the people in the world, there's probably other people that have the same problems, right? Absolutely. And so when you're going yeah. when you're when you're solving these these or when you're going through a problem and you're actually solving the solution and creating a product out of it i honestly yeah. think those are the best type of products because you took that time to actually create something that worked for you it's not like you were trying to make a buck out of it at first what you initially were trying to do was figure out how to sleep better right how to get better sleep how to how to wake up in a better mood how to all the science behind of it so when right. you're like okay, now this works for me. Now this is amazing. Now I need to share all of this stuff with everyone else because it would be a shame if I didn't because how yeah. many other people are going through the same things that you're going? You don't even know. You're impacting people. Yeah. We grappled with whether to make this a business because neither of us are very like business minded people, but yeah. we just felt like we couldn't be greedy. <laughs> like yeah, we had we, this solution yeah. to these problems that we've seen other people have that we've had ourselves. And so we had to find a way to share it. And that's always our yeah. biggest goal. Like we try to do our best to have the best quality and to be able to reach as many people as possible because we really believe that this is a life changing thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you like how big of a difference it makes for people is our customers are become like fanatical about our products, which we understand because we obviously we can't go exactly. anywhere without our pillow. Right. But yeah. they literally give them as gifts every year. We've had people reach out to us if we would like 
make custom pillowcase covers because she was like uh-huh. a, a bridesmaid and she wanted to give them to the whole wedding party as a gift in the wedding colors. We've given them we as did. wedding yeah. favors. We've yeah. had them as wedding favors. So it's, it really is like that big of a difference. Yeah. And it's it's just so gratifying to us like to, to you know, I mean, we, we had no manufacturing experience. We had no business experience. And we had to like, we built our own factory because we needed to make sure we could make them the quality that they needed to be. And we founded the, the, the Honeydew as a company. All of that came after we had had these products that we were giving to friends and family. So it's, and to it's this been a day, journey for sure. Yeah. To this day, Jonathan's the one in the warehouse, like cr- helping create these pillows, oh, like putting yeah. his hands on yeah. each pillow. Yeah. And when you call our phone number, you get Jonathan. It's true. He, yeah. It always goes to <laughs> yeah. his cell phone. So day and yeah. night, he's taking calls and yeah. he actually loves to do it because we love this product. We love our company. Yeah. We believe in it so much that despite all of the struggles that have come along with this process, especially during COVID times and the fact that materials have gone up in prices and there are a lot of new oh, challenges yeah. that yeah. I'm sure other small business owners are aware of as well, um, mm-hmm. because it's kind of a universal thing. And despite those challenges, we keep pushing through exactly, because yeah. we just, we feel like we can't stop. Yeah. Well, I could tell already you guys are passionate about this product. I could tell you guys are passionate about this field all in all. Now, what I want to know is because I know this is a big category, right? You guys aren't the only ones in this in this in this field. So what 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 are what mistakes are sellers making out there? And then what should consumers be aware of from other like minded products that just don't come close to you guys you know yeah so so none of the products really come anywhere close to ours and the reason for that is because we are not entrepreneurial minded people we are very annoying perfectionists we are we are like every single detail is like so meticulously labored over for us and even our packaging like we'll spend you know months and months just to get the packaging exactly how we like it but when it comes to a lot of the things that we do in our manufacturing process, um, they're completely uh, unsustainable from a business standpoint. They're totally inefficient. They're like extremely, they're a lot more expensive. Like our fill, for example, we use this copper infused um, gel based like sort of pure foam uh, combined with this fiber that we use. It feels like silk and mm-hmm. our foam component alone We use foams, I don't know how much you know about them, but they come in basically different um, densities and ILDs. And the density is essentially the weight of the the foam. And you can get like high density, so heavier weighted foam or light density weighted foam. And each one has different properties and different feels. So for our pillows, we actually combine high density foam with low density foam in a, a specific proportion and combine that with our fiber component in a specific proportion. And it's like so labor intensive. Everybody's like, why don't you use medium density foam? And it's like, well, of course we tried that. It's not yeah. nearly as good because we have yeah. these tiny little pieces. And now you have some of them that are a little bit of a heavier duty and some of them that are light. And when it's all medium, it just kind of flattens out the same way. This gives us this like plush, pillowy, like uh, it's like do- it's scrumptious feeling is kind of where that name came from. It's really like soft and plush, but it's substantial and it's supportive and it doesn't flatten out, but it also isn't hard. So you don't wake up in the middle of the night with your ear sore, right? Mm -hmm. For us, like where we come from with our like sleep issues and with our education in this field, our goal was always only to make the best pillow available. So that's one example that like nobody will ever copy our fill ever, not only because it's proprietary and they can't, but in addition to it, any business, if you brought them that idea, they'd be like, we're not doing that. That's ridiculous. Like we have to basically make twice as much of the foam. We have to measure it out. We have to cut it just for one pillow. Like we're not doing that. And that's why we ended up with our own factory because in the beginning we didn't have the machines. We didn't have the factory. We had to outsource our manufacturing Um, and nobody was willing or able to meet our stringent guidelines. And there are many people out there that are very annoyed with us that have tried to work with us. And we just couldn't get to a place where we felt like this was it. This was 
the perfect product oh, yeah. that we needed to put out. Yeah. So we have taken as much of the process into our own hands as possible yeah. so that we could be involved in every aspect of it and we could be involved in the quality control so that we know that when our customer receives that pillow in their hands, we've looked it over, yeah. we've massaged it out, we've made it perfect for them. And I think that that's the difference is they're not rolling through some random factory with Correct. giant machines yeah. and workers that are exhausted. I mean, our workers are exhausted. You can we're all exhausted to be honest, <laughs> but we're all passionate. But like, the passion yeah. overrides it. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. And, and we also make every single one, you know, by hand. So they're not imported. We know exactly what's in them. The foam that we get comes from a factory really close to us in LA, like we'll go visit them and we'll like watch them make the foam. And it's all made to literally the most strict standards available. Cause not only is it sort of pure us, which is like the standard for um, foam safety, but it's also California, which has additional like prop 65 requirements and much yeah. tighter laws even yet. Right. Rather than bringing in foam from somewhere else, we wouldn't do that because it's got to be perfect. And a lot of places yeah. also will <laughs> use foam scraps. So oh, yeah. foam that's been yeah. shaved off of, you know, making a mattress or other pillows, or they recycle the foam. Um, our foam is all virgin. So it was created for this process Correct. and it's been handled by us and it's been shredded by us and it's mm -hmm. been the whole process has been in our hands. So we know that our stuff is pure and then it doesn't have any elements like foams that are trimmed can have like skins and uh, right. harder pieces. Ours does not have any of that because it was specifically created for us. Yeah. Our machinery well, took like three months to get because we had to like custom order it. You know, we're very, our standards are impossibly <laughs> high, which is great for the customer. It's, you know, kind of annoying to everybody else around us, yeah. I'm sure. But, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go against what you guys think. I'm going to say that you guys are probably the most powerful entrepreneurs I've seen in a minute. You guys might not think that because of the whole business model. Yeah. But the only reason why I say this is because you guys are surpassing through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, making sure that the product is uh, perfect, making sure that it's, it's still reasonably priced for consumers to go and, and get it, right? Making sure it's still an investment for people, um, making sure that you guys are putting the best quality in there. To me, that is one of the highest qual qualities of entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. Because if you take a look at some of the, the, the Steve Jobs, for example, no matter, there, there, there could be business out, out there that say, this doesn't work, use a cheaper product, use a cheaper phone, right. use this and that, yeah. make sure we get our margin, this and that. You're not yeah. doing any of that. You're not in that greed. I, I call that more of like a, the greed entrepreneurship, this, that's not, which is really fake entrepreneur, just trying to make a buck out of someone. Exactly. For yeah. me, you guys are, one of the top entrepreneurs I've seen only because of the obstacles that you keep on surpassing. You guys are using your own factory. You guys are creating your own foam and everything like that, making all these other products that fit their needs. It's not only just one thing. So I go against you guys. I think you guys are, are some pretty, pretty cool entrepreneurs. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that makes me emotional because me too, yeah. <laughs> we do like pour so much of ourselves into this. And so to hear um that kind of uh like yeah, recognition yeah. um it it really is something that means the world to us i've li I literally have never never told anybody i've never told my family this but i'm gonna tell you now because it <laughs> totally touches on exactly what you've said but this obviously especially for us with our commitment to the product has been a challenging journey right because we don't hit our margins we don't do any of the things that you're supposed to do to run a business but yeah. part of us feels a little bit like it's almost a public service too, if that makes sense. And one night when we were having a particularly difficult time, I was, I like broke down crying and Avita and I were talking about it. And I was like, I, <laughs> I'm getting emotional now, but I was like, I don't even, you know, I was like, I just can't imagine <laughs> like if we had to shut our doors, like because people rely on us, you know, yeah. people literally, the emails that we get, like, and I just like, that's not an option because I feel like it would be, it would be so sad. Like it would be such yeah. a crime, not just because like it's our business, but because our pillows really don't exist anywhere else. And we have people who've tried 30 pillows, 40 pillows, 50 pillows, and then they get ours and they're like, I can't believe that this exists. And so not anyway, to mention people yeah. with chronic pain and chronic illnesses yeah. that have told us what a difference this has made. I mean, how can you 
not be touched by that. No, it's honestly, really, you, yeah. guys, you guys, you guys are, you guys are giving me, me goosebumps. <laughs> and, and I know for a fact that you guys won't ever close because of what you just said. It's not an option for you guys. And you right. guys will continue to figure out how to keep the customers happy, how to keep the doors open, how to keep your, your workers happy. I, I know that's a, that's another mission on itself and that, that people don't even touch on and don't even acknowledge. Right. And, and you have so much responsibility from other, other people's family and friends that you, you this is you. And so I give you guys a hundred percent credit for what you guys have done and, and, and the journey of you guys done and i i'm i'm starting to get emotional now just because of, <laughs> of, of you guys and, and i know how i i could tell how passionate you guys are with honeydew and i could tell you guys are yeah. honestly changing people's lives through through what you do so before we start crying on this live podcast, exactly i know, I know. <laughs> tell us something just yeah you know allergies and there's a little bit of rain in this room <laughs> yeah. here and, yes yeah. we're, we're in new york not not southern california exactly. rain. <laughs> um before we end this i know we're, we're cutting off on time now you had uh, offered a, a amazing promotion to um the listeners and the viewers out there um what were you guys going to offer so we're going to offer a 10 percent promotion code um that's valid on any of our products on amazon which we never do promotions on Amazon ever, um, so it's a really big deal. We, um, you know, we we That's struggle true. to hit our margins, and they yeah. take theirs. So for us, it's like, look, we're so appreciative to be a part of this, and it means a lot to us, and our customers mean a lot to us. So we want to be able to to offer something. And it's worth yeah. saying, like our products, we have our pillows, then we have pillowcases that are specifically yeah. designed to make the pillows work properly to fit their their shape yeah, and uh, we have silk pillowcases that are yeah. wonderful for your skin and your hair and your yeah, and yeah you're, exactly. you know we yeah. both uh, I mean, needed yeah. it so you know <laughs> yeah. we um we have a product line that we couldn't be prouder of every mm -hmm. single element has been painstakingly designed and right. created um and you know, we're just happy to offer any kind of promotion we can to just get these products in more people's hands. Yeah, and that example about the foam is like one of 20 I could give about any different component in our pillow because there's always a reason. And I, I tell our customers that when they have a question about something or even if it's just on our website, I'm like, reach out if you have any questions because there is always a reason for everything you would ask and I'd like to talk about it with you and be able to hear you know your thoughts as well and um, that's and yeah so anyway you honestly do not get that with any other company out there i promise you that no. like that is yeah. just absolutely amazing and um i, I can't wait we'll, we'll probably have you guys on uh six months or or, or a year i want to see how the journey has has yes. unfolded for you guys i i have good news for you exactly. <laughs> yeah. you will you will have good yeah. news Hopefully we'll do it uh, live in, in your guys' factory or something next time. That would be amazing. Oh, we'd love You're to. welcome to visit anytime. Yeah, I'm down the street. I'm down the street. So you um, are. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely. I I'm definitely gonna get some silk pillowcases. I actually need some. So we're right yeah. on time. You guys have earned a customer for life for me, and I, I know that we couldn't be. Um, yeah. Pulse Pro couldn't be more proud of, of what you guys are, are doing. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you guys for joining in on another uh, podcast of the Amazon uh, Seller Brand Stories. We appreciate you, Jonathan, Evita, Honeydew so Sleep much. Company. Before yeah. we go, how can they, can they, um, any social media, um, how can they contact yeah. you, your website and stuff, but any social media? All the social media. <laughs> we are we are at Honeydew Sleep, which is Honeydew like the melon. So H-O-N-E-Y-D-E-W. Oh, yeah, like this. <laughs> all one word um sleep honey do sleep and um we are that on instagram we're that on facebook we're that on youtube youtube.com we have sleep. a tiktok now we have a twitter we have a tiktok <laughs> we are all of the places yeah so that's perfect and we'd guys. love to talk to you i mean yeah. literally anybody who's watching this please reach out to us yeah like, we, we love that so yeah that's amazing guys well i appreciate you as always we'll talk soon and thank you so much catch you on slides thank again you. appreciate it Sweet. Oh, wow. Honestly, guys, that was, that was amazing. I, um, that was probably one of my, my probably my favorite podcasts I've ever done so far. Oh, Thanks. thank you. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. How we do you really guys feel? Like, the conversation with you yeah, too. It was definitely, yeah. Just a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much.
our issue um, with these always is that we could talk about this stuff for like hours and hours. So yeah, it's like tough for us to kind of rein it in. And I, exactly. uh, you know, I really like the direction to like where the conversation went. Cause sometimes, yeah. you know, we've had interviewers where it's like, they're asking us really dumb questions and you know it's like a waste of our time right and we don't get to yeah well i i, I mean I'm, I'm i was an amazon seller and i i've known what you guys have gone through right so it, it touches more of what i've gone through and that's why i could connect with you guys a little bit more because and that's yeah. why I, I i was like when you guys are saying like oh entrepreneur we're not like entrepreneur i was like yeah like i hate using that word too because a lot of people are just like over right. but like the true yeah. definition of that is what you guys definitely do so i was like dude we yeah. you, you guys are amazing and and, and honestly it, you seriously got a got a customer for life on on my end so well um, yeah i'd be happy to send you some stuff too i i didn't we didn't talk about it in the video but i got to give a plug too to our travel pillow because it's freaking amazing yeah so if you do any traveling it's like a must-have because it's big enough to where in the hotel rooms you can use it as your main pillow we even have people that like a smaller size pillow that will buy it as their primary pillow for their house a lot of like my dad who's bigger than me uses it as his primary pillow it's like uh yeah yeah, it's not for an airplane so much destination yeah when i um when i uh edit the video i'm gonna put different um product pictures on oh the great video. yeah oh so you'll, you'll get all that stuff and um should be probably i would say like a month or two out we have like a couple people in front of you but i'll definitely keep you guys um updated with uh when this comes out and if you guys ever need anything from me i'm just i'm on more of the the marketing and um brand development side but if you guys ever need anything from me danny at, at postpurchasepro.com um great. i'll send your guys' information to um I have another, I have a couple other podcasts that might be able to interview you for some stuff just for recognition. Oh, great. We'd love we, that. We yeah, take any course. and all yeah. opportunities. Yeah. And we're so grateful for you to give us this opportunity to yeah. have this conversation. It's no all problem. we want to do is talk about this stuff. So. And, uh, and honestly, like I've done, because this is like not in my nature, like I've done so much freaking training and so much. I worked with Stephen Pope's agency and it was like, bad bad like he's great the agency yeah. was bad bad and so like finding like post purchase pro has just been like it's been a relief it's a lot of stuff i've like yet to be able to implement but i've done the webinars i've done the um you know the the workshop we're signed up now for the email that you guys handle and it's like i finally feel like these like are actionable things that I can do that like will make a difference, you know, in, in our business, you know, and that's, it's like, I've not really felt because a lot of the stuff we do anyway, you probably have to go. I don't need to keep going, <laughs> oh, on, but keep going, keep going. So like, yeah, a lot of stuff we do, even one of the like great, uh, like tricks from the webinar number four, which was about the, uh, you know, like advertising and, mm, yeah. uh, you know, Travis Ziegler was talking about like, filtering out the words that don't make sense, right? It's like, I go in there and like our, all of our words make sense. Yeah. And then I start scrolling down and like, they all make sense. And so yeah. I'm like on page two or three before they start to not make sense, right? And then I'm like starting to kind of wean things out for like our product, for all of our competitors' products. But it's such a broad field that like, I feel like being able to do this like cloning stuff and being able to make focus on these other elements is really what's going to make a difference because mm-hmm. going after side sleeper pillow because that's our number one selling product these yeah. days it's tough with all the imported stuff that's out there and they're not really even products that compete but on amazon there's no way around it you know so yeah. and not to mention the, the battle that we continue to do with amazon on a daily basis with one thing or another right it's, oh, it's yeah. a nightmare yeah it's yeah. definitely yeah. a huge challenge yeah no yeah it's well yeah I'm, I'm glad you guys are getting uh so much good information from uh from the workshops and everything like that i'm telling you from a past amazon seller they they do work anything that we could do to kind of leverage our position and give us a little bit extra curve you know maybe it's not going to boost us to the millions that we really want but like you're saying as long as it gives us some more fighting power for our competitors exactly. and you never know it might be that extra push that that breaks through too so keep doing sure. that always be a, a an open book um amazon's always changing too so don't be don't so used to one strategy or another, you know, when stuff goes on like that. So you yeah. guys are on the right path. I, I guarantee you, you guys. Thank will you be so much. 
No yeah, problem. and and tell them you know sell us more stuff because we <laughs> you know our biggest issue is always time, right? So like you know yeah. we'll 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 buy more. We'll we'll anyone who takes some of this stuff off our our plate too is like that's the most valuable thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I hundred yeah. percent agree. Hundred percent agree. Yeah. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Um, like I said, if you guys need anything, Danny at postpurchasepro.com. I have your guys. Let me just make sure because I know I'm gonna hit you guys up. Please do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jonathan at honeydosleeprighttcom Yep. And it's Perfect. also Vita at honeydosleep if you want to reach her. Okay. Yeah. Either yeah. way. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Well, I'm excited for you and your journey. I cannot wait. We'll, we'll schedule this uh, yeah. again another six months and we'll see how far we've come. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Appreciate it. Yeah. No Have a good day, guys. All right. Have a good one.